it's nice to have us both home for a change. Managing work and family is now more complicated for Sherry and Alyssa Monk. The couple says after work became unbearable, they had to quit their paramedic and firefighter jobs in a small Alberta town. If you are not in the closet and hiding it, you are seen as flaunting it. They say the then deputy chief told them they were making colleagues uncomfortable. The conversation started with, this isn't because you're gay, but there are some people that will never accept same-sex marriage and are offended by the use of the word wife. We asked, would this apply to everybody? We were one of five married couples on the department, and this manager said, no, because you're the only couple we've had complaints about. We were also the only gay one. They started recording meetings with managers. I think public displays of affection, whether that's physical or verbal, are stand out more. Mm -hmm. Because, of because well, because you're both women, right. then it right. does in a heterosexual population. When we asked if everybody would be getting the same set of rules, we only met resistance. Pincher Creek administrators didn't answer Go Public's questions, saying the case is before the Alberta Human Rights Commission. They deny any discrimination. Paramedic James Raffin is a former co-worker. Them being in the workplace and other people's religious sentiments being offended by their presence became more of a source of conflict. This advocate says discrimination can still be an issue, especially in some small towns and traditionally masculine workplaces. She runs diversity training programs. We don't want to ever interrupt people's religious values or, or whatever the values that drive their beliefs, but you actually can't openly discriminate against LGBTQ people in Canada. The monks say they struggled financially for months. Their human rights complaint could take years to resolve. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.